Sam Sam the Adventure Man, we are back for another adventure. We are in Atchison, Atchison. Kansas. Come we've, on down. We've got Luke's Tow Company coming up. Luke, thank you for coming out and donating your time and your services today. Not a problem. We have a mystery red sports car in the river. The Missouri River, which uh, was kind of my nemesis before, but I've kind of grown to like it and love it. Thanks for uh, bringing a big record. We've never actually, actually we have had a big record before. So the goal today is to pull it right up over the uh, bank is what uh, we plan on doing today. We actually are in town looking for Bill, uh, I'm sorry, Bob and Mary Black is who we're looking for. And in the process, one of the cars we ran into yesterday is a sports car underwater there. So you see the, the line right there. So that from where that knot is in the line, the car is out 25 feet, eight to 10 feet underwater. We've got express tow is here to take care of us today. Good looking truck, wouldn't you say? We got Dan Dan the cameraman. He's gonna be doing some uh, drone shots. We will have an edited version out for you of this car recovery, as well as the story on uh, Bob and Mary Black. We'll have that for you later on this holiday season as well. We've not yet found them. There's supposed to be uh, eight cars or so in here and then we ended up on a rumor chaser that there was another car 15 miles down the river that may have been theirs. And the reason why they thought that that might have been uh, their car is because a fisherman a month ago ended up pulling a mirror off of the car. Morning, Sam. Good morning. Ended up pulling a uh, mirror off of the car. It came back to a Honda Civic, uh, similar in year to which the blacks went missing. However, when we went out there, we went out there with uh, the Ashton a member of the Ashison search and rescue. They sonared some of it, they saw what they thought, but when we went out there, it was actually just some tree limbs. So we ended up not being able to identify the car that was 15 feet down. You see the, you see the size of this truck? This thing is huge. Yes. Look, we, at, uh, look at this great big old boom over there. We this need to get is, one of these. This gonna snatch cars out like nobody's business. And tell us about the PD here, Sam. Oh, the PD are awesome. Like the police department, all the officers, everyone we met have been really supportive, really great, helping us. Just beautiful, beautiful people, great supporters. They want to see closure to families, and that's what they're about here. They're not about all that uh, political other stuff. They're, they're, they really just want to be, you know, just, just want families to have that, you know, that peace of mind. Yeah, so big. And they're really supportive. They were just wonderful. Came out, shook our hands, said, hey, whatever you need, we're here. In fact, as you see, we've got three of them right here. They were talking about shutting down the road for us if need be. It just, it just it feels like a hug. So I'm really happy that, that these guys are here and that we're all doing this together. And I'm really excited about this truck. I, I haven't actually been a part of pulling something out with a truck like that. Oh, this this whole boom goes straight out? Oh, yeah. They just a, picked that whole thing up. You yeah, are going to be so impressed with like this one. car snatcher. Yes. I, I can just see it already. Yeah, we, we need one of those for sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's ready. Yeah, as soon as you put a hook on it, it's ready. And I've got a, uh, I've got a 20,000 uh, pound Dyneema lines on there. 20,000 pound Dyneema lines are hooked to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, we want it. We want it like this. All right, we're shooting a live real quick. Here we go. 
We're actually live on this as well. So if you want to see all the behind the scenes, the uncut version, be sure to check out the link in the description or if you're on YouTube over here. But if you're on Facebook, go to the link in the description and jump over to our YouTube and watch everything that's going on right here right now. Look at that big smile Sam has. I'm really happy about this one. Yeah. Hey, don't forget to record it. Yeah, see, you have to point the camera and record action and things that are happening. Oh, but you just handed it to me. All right. Oh. <laughs> you know, this is the biggest boom we've ever yeah, used. Yeah, I was saying, man. Hold on. Uh, yeah, oh, hey, let's do a shout out on the main video too. Actually, we'll do it when the uh, car is coming up. We'll get a shout out to him. What's that? Say again? You need me to um, I think they kind of got it. I think that the. Yes, yeah, their game. Have you ever had a sky wedgie? Is that what you're going to have? <laughs> have you? <laughs> no. Who, who would like to see Sam? Uh, uh, sky wedgie. Dude, no, no, sky wedgie. Sky wedgie for Jared. <laughs> Should we get a sky wedgie for Jared or a sky wedgie for Sam? Yeah. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Trudy uh, wants a mod, always a mod, unless I take that away from you. So yes, uh, if you're on Trudy, do uh, jump on and uh, help with the mod. Appreciate it. So I'll bring you down here to where Luke is at and what we have going on down here. So yesterday we uh, pre-rigged this car while we're in the water diving looking for cars. You want me to hook out here to this stop shackle? Wish everyone works best for you. I think probably easier. Yeah, that way you got a full yeah. pull and don't have to reset. All right, and we prefer not to put our uh, diving gear on today, so it's nice and slow. I hope the wheel holds. And so our concern this morning, uh, just to bring everybody up to speed, our concern is this car, uh, we don't actually know what kind of car it is. It's a, uh, um, go ahead and go up there for a few minutes and then I'll grab from down here and so Dan can steal some of these if he needs to. So our concern is that this is a uh, red sports car. We actually don't know what kind of car it is. It has uh, five spoke wheels on it. And with that one, we were not able to get around the axle to, uh, for the chain, the way that it was sitting in the silt and the uh, mud. With that one, we ended up putting the chain through the wheel, but the wheel is kind of facing, here, I'm gonna turn around this way. So the front of it is facing kind of like this angle. So the back wheel on the driver's side, let's do it over, over on the driver's side. And so he's gonna have to turn it nice and slow. Once he gets it you know, turned and pulled, then it's gonna be nice and solid for him. But the concern is in the meantime is if it pulls too hard and it's old and brittle, it could actually pop that wheel off. Ah, that's where it's at. All right, chain's starting to tighten. Boom is coming out. The nice thing about the booms too is they can reach out over the banks and up so they can kind of lift the uh, vehicles up. It really helps rather than pulling across, pulls things up. So. So we got Dan over there playing with his remote control. We got Luke over here playing with his remote control. Morning, Brian. How you doing? Good, how about you? Oh, let me untie you from that uh, rock down there. Hey, Luke. I'm gonna untie that other rope from the rock. All right.
All right, you're clear. No. Are you serious? I think something's good. Well, this maybe came off a rock or something. No, it came off a rock. My heart just dropped. I, I, I believe, I believe okay. it. Yeah. You still have it? Yeah, I think you still got it. Oh, my, I, like, I'm breathing hard and heavy right now. Oh, I was so nervous. I'm still breathing. Yeah, we're still good. Say again? We're still good. Okay, good. Man, that boom is awesome. I, I don't know what you guys are doing right now, but you should be here. Uh, they are here. They're here with us with right us. now. But if you're in the area, come on down in person. Yes. But it's not going to take that long. No, you better be here quick. Because PD said, hey, we're shutting the road down for like 15 it. minutes for you. <laughs> so you so you better hurry. So Atchison, amazing people. Thank you, guys. We already got air bubbles. Air bubbles are happening already. Oh, we're farther out than I thought. Sorry, I lied to you. We're 50 feet out. <laughs> I didn't, embellished. I forgot that we put don't, don't three lights on there. Say embellished. I embellished, yes. Uh, if you're not yet a member, we encourage you to do so with uh, memberships. It's actually what puts us out here on the road to work with Sam, get new yes. gear with yes. all the gear that Sam breaks. That's how and, we get new gear. Yes, sure. that's how we get new gear, yes. And uh, we, uh, as our way of saying thank you, we do provide videos to you early. And then that uh, also allows us to... Uh, oh, yeah, that thing's bumping along, man. Oh, it's almost yeah, there. Swirls, oh, look, swirls. the swirl's there. Dave Mack is really jealous of what we are using today. Dave Mac, we're using Express Toe. Yeah, I like it. Definitely red. Definitely red. All right, I'm going down. You know, this is actually going way too easy. So something needs to happen. We pulled the plate yesterday on it. This is Mustang. They think it's Mustang? Yeah, I have no idea. Is it the Mustang? Who can first identify what this car is? Uh, thank you to uh, Gregory for a $5 donation. What tow company are you using today? Express. Luke, where where is your company out of and what's your radius? Platte City. Platte City? Yep. And your radius? All right, 100, 100, 100 to 150 miles. Yeah, we can throw another hook on it. Oh yeah, we can do that now that we're out of the water. Yeah, Here, let's shoot a uh, intro as well. Right, yep, here you go. So we're shooting it here. Hold this one as well. Oh, yeah, I got this. Yeah. Hi like, guys. You got it? Okay. So we're gonna kind of turn like this way? I don't have it because I can't even see. You can't do it. Take it like that. Yeah. There we go. So you, we're shooting on this one though. Right, gotcha. No, no, you're shooting on this one. Uh -huh. This is the intro one. Oh, I got you. Here, I, I'll just shoot selfie style. Okay. Like this. Okay. Um, we want to welcome you to another episode of Inspection of Purpose, where today we are going to show you a red sports car. We are pulling out of the river. This, Sam, is one episode. <laughs> yeah. They are not going to want to check miss. this thing out. Oh, that's a beautiful blue. <laughs> oh. Cool. All right, I like that intro. Do you guys like that intro? Do you guys like the intro? Yeah. There you go. All right. Here, here, you want to come? Bring that down, Sam. You want to hit from the other side the way the car is coming? Yeah. Yeah, come on down. And then when it's about halfway up the hill, we'll move to the top. Oh, it is a Mustang. Look at that. I think that's our first uh, newer Mustang. Did you hear about the uh, 1973 Mach 1 we pulled out of the river? 
Oh, it's a beautiful car until we destroyed it. Uh, Actually, it was so far gone. Yeah. yeah, we just finished it off. All right, thank you to AJ for becoming a part of the team. Thank you to uh, Lisa for your uh, $5 donation. Thank you. Is it? You just pull a bit and see what you get out a little farther? Thank you to Lily for a $5 donation. Thank you to Cindy. It's a Fisher Price. Oh, you've almost cut through this wheel over here. Sam, bring that camera down here for the uh, actual show show. Look at this. That chain has gone through that, that wheel. Oh, we're actually really lucky we got it this far. Wow. Anyway, this was the only place for us to, this was actually the only place for us to hook onto. I mean, it's still holding there. If you, get it, if you get it up a little bit, we might be able to re-hook yeah. yeah. right, yeah, yeah. Hey, before you move it, Luke, let me uh, shoot that real quick. I know the PD wants us out of here, but we got it here. Hold that one. Trade it, trade it. Yeah, yeah. Quick trade. What's he looking at, guy? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, man. This is a Mustang, dude. All right. Trade, trade back. Trade these. There you go. I think that front wheel's gonna come off. Oh yeah. Here, let me do a uh, quick also. Here, hold this. Okay. If you're enjoying these videos, over here, I'll meet you. Trying to get the things, you're blocking it 100%. Oh, oh, I don't want to block it. There you go. All right, go for it. You're good. If you're enjoying these videos that we bring to you, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe, especially the subscribe. And we're on a mission to get to 1 million subscribers. We could not be doing that without you here. So thank you for your support. Back to the show. Oh, look at that one popping oh, yeah. up the awesome. Are you zoomed in? Okay, yeah. Oh, you're on wide. Yeah, zoom. There you go. Oh, yes, look at that. He's just going to creep that thing right up the hill. This is one of those uh, four-wheel drive mountain climbing Mustangs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, rock they, climber. They call it the Billy Goat Edition. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have the Billy Goat Edition. Or if you've ever had, or if you've ever had the Billy Goat Edition. <laughs> um, all right, Trudy, I'm watching right now. Trudy, go ahead and comment. Let me see if I can get you back on there. Uh, pose for thumbnail right now. Turn around, Dan. Or Sam, pose right now. Where's the drone at? Somewhere, right there, okay? They said, that, all right, we were posing for the drone. Did that work? I hope it worked. And behind the car. Oh, sorry, Trudy, I wasn't paying attention. Dan made me do something different. So go ahead and uh, comment again, sorry. Keep commenting, Trudy, until I see you. Uh, thank you to Corey. Oh, Corey Johnson is on again. What's up, Corey? How's it going, bro? Hundred dollar donation. You didn't have to do that, Corey. Just hanging out with us was yeah. enough. Corey was with us for the last couple of days. Thanks for being here, Corey. Yeah, good, good dude. Good, good.
good uh, good dude, good family. Uh, thank you, Bruce, for becoming a part of the team. Thank you to Deb, $5 donation. Thank you to uh, I Love Life. Welcome to part of the team. Thank you to Crystal. Show some love and support to my amazing friends. Help out, help out so much. Thank you uh, for that, Crystal. We have one beautiful Billy Goat Edition Mustang coming up the side of the cliff here. How can I donate, Charlotte? There's a uh, link in the description to PayPal. Um, also, Tara will put a link up here to our PayPal as well. Thank you to uh, Melinda for being on here. $100 donation, we really appreciate that. Thank you to the Ridgens also for $5 donation. Uh, did I miss, uh, did, did you miss my membership? Yes, uh, Grandpa Mara. Yes, I did. Thank you for becoming uh, and part of a uh, member. Thank you for that. And if I do miss anybody that has become a new uh, member or has donated, I apologize. Thank you, Keegan, for a three dollar donation. Thank you to Vern for becoming a part of the team. Thing go holy smoke look at that thing yeah just this one impressive machine yeah yeah we we definitely need one dave mack loves this machine he's so excited this morning in fact this is the uh real reason why dave mack wants to uh hang out, hang out with this is yeah. for if one of these come he wants to play with the controls dave mack you need this brother look i bet you what do these things cost um about six to seven hundred thousand new. So if you want to know why tow bills are so expensive, it's because they bring out the equipment that can do the job. So thank you to Luke and his company for investing in such a rig. Speaking of that, let's do a uh, shout out to them real quick. Here we go, right over here. Come over here. Come over here. This is an incredible one. So Luke, you gotta turn around a little bit right here. So uh, we want to give a big shout out to Luke. I gotta move over. Yeah, perfect. Big shout out to Luke and his company, Express Towing. Luke, thank you for bringing your rig out today. No I almost hit the wrong button. It's okay. Donating your, time, back out. donating your time and services to pull out Not such a, a beautiful car like that. It, it is a nice one. Yes. Nice. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Thank you guys. Yeah. So if you're anywhere in the Platte area, Platte, uh, Missouri? Platte, yeah, Platte City, Missouri. Platte City, Missouri. Be sure to hit up Express Towing. Listen. If they're out here doing this for us, you know they're going to take good care of you as well. There, you guys want to see the inside of it? Mustang! You got a purse? Yeah, I got a purse or something. <gasps> Do you really? I think it's a purse. Can't pull it out. We might have a purse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might have a purse. I think it's just the visor. That's just the visor. Well, why are there cell phones in it? Oh, are there cell phones? No, that's the visor mirror. Oh, it is? It might be. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah. Yeah, they just came off and fell in the seat. See the shape of them? Yeah, they Yeah, they're side by side. Yeah, you're right. All right. Yeah. I thought when I saw that, I was like, oh, man, that looks like the back of a phone. Yeah. It was covered in mud. Oh, well, look how the river just tears this thing apart. Jeez. All right, he's gonna slim jim the door, try to get it open. Yeah. Yeah. One Frank, Adam Frank, Paul.
John Wayne Zero. One frame. Then give me one frame. Go to a 10 on it. <clears throat> 10 for your zoom. 10 for your zoom. Let me see if I can get caught up on uh, saying thank you to a few of you. Uh, Vern, thank you for becoming part of the team. If I miss anybody, I do apologize. Tr Tracy, thank you for your $10 donation. Thank you to Samuel, part of the team. has become a new uh, part of the team member. Edward, shout out for Ashley Husky. $10 donation. Thank you for that. And that was, oh, who was that? That was uh, Edward. Thank you for that. Thank you to Heather for becoming a part of the team. <coughs> It is really cold out here this morning. Crystal, uh, welcome as a gear sponsor. Thank you for that. We have Charles, great job guys. Thanks for all you do. We have Nancy, part of the team as well. You don't like a PD in the shot for a thumbnail? He's done well for us in the past. You can try that as well. Yeah, we can try that. Okay. Can we uh, grab you guys for a quick shot over here on this side? We don't know yet, they haven't come back with it. I, I just think the record or the rotator. Oh, you saw it in the back? Like okay. We'll standard. grab this shot for us as well, just real quick. That's just a quick shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we go. We got us as a car. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. All right, I'll answer some questions for you guys. Uh, fire away, I've not been paying a whole lot of attention to the questions. Nancy, thank you for becoming part of the team. And we also have, freezing, Mr. GTA Mod Menus, part of the team. All right, I'm reading questions now. You need to buy one of those little tooth toothbrush brushes as they sell in the hardware store when you're looking for the VIN, uh, VIN can probably see it better. Uh, you know, I don't need one of those toothbrushes from the store, I just use Sam's to clean out the VIN number. Sounds about right. We won't tell them, though. Okay. Trick or treat, you got a Mustang. Yeah. Found on rubbish dump. Check what part of Wisconsin. We've not pulled any cars out of Utah. Do I have to pay you guys to help get my uncle's iPhone 8 Plus out of the water? Uh, I think that we are a little beyond iPhone 8s so at this moment in time. The reason for that is uh, that way we can clean up the environment in a much larger way and potentially find lost loved ones. So that's what our, our mission is currently. But contact your local dive shop, Kevin, and see if there are any divers in your area that can come help you out. Uh, what is this car from? This car is from the river currently. They're trying to find out uh, if we have any information on it. Uh, was Mustang. So I just want to give a quick shout out or shout out. A, sh a shout out? Shout out. Shout out. Jackie, Roy's wife. She made some awesome chili and we're going to be enjoying that. Roy's been hanging out with us the last few days. He's an awesome dude. Good, uh, good man. Glad it's been a great time. Yeah, yes. Glad, glad you've been and, with us. So and your wife's name? Jackie. 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 Thank you, Jackie. Jackie, behind any good man, we know that there is a good woman. So thank you, Jackie, for the silverware, the paper towels. Yes, yes. I'm totally guessing, good. did she make the chili as well? She did. Yes, okay, because I didn't you. think that you'd make that. So, no, Roy, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jackie, for everything you've done for us while we're in town. So, awesome. Roy, thank you for coming out and no hanging problem. out with us. Did you get back down this way? You got my number? 100%. Yes, it's in my phone. All right, you want this dumped off at a, uh, your yard or your driveway? You gonna restore this? Oh, owner's manual still in there. Look at that. Boom. There goes the spell. Yeah, if anybody wants an authentic Mustang owner's manual. Yeah, there it is. Pop the truck. 
What your camera needs to be pointing. Your, any conversations you're having? A <laughs> he says there's a button to pop the trunk. <laughs> uh, June, thank you uh, for becoming an air sponsor today. Thank you to uh, uh, A Fox Finder. Why haven't you been using bags lately? The reason why we've not been using bags lately is because see that river? It is almost impossible to get bags down. And because we're so close to shore with rotators lately that we've been able to make our lives a little bit easier and pull them right up and over the hill here. So that's why we're doing that. Sorry about that. My fingers hit the wrong uh, button. Can we hold that for a minute? I'm getting really hot. I gotta take my coat off. You're getting hot. Do you know how many layers I have on? I've got the O3 with the O3 with a shirt with long johns under that with a hoodie over that with my coat after that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six layers of clothes on right now. Six layers? It is so cold this morning. Yeah, let's yeah, let's yeah. see a layer check. Layer check, hold on. Yeah. Layer check. What do we got here? I don't even remember. How much I got, huh? We got uh, one. Oh, yeah, no, he can get through, I think. Two, three, four, five, six. Dang. <laughs> that should be a new thing on the winter, right, so winter episodes. We're going for the trunk here. We are? Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, 3,200 people that are telling you that you need to open the trunk. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah. All right, here, we'll show you guys inside the trunk. Here, I'll give Dan that camera. I'll show you what we can see inside the trunk. Oh, we got a blue tarp in there. Oh, you know somebody's buried in that blue tarp. Look, oh look now they have to pop the trunk oh we just put them under the under the gun i'm sorry for that <laughs> all right hope nobody's in the blue tarp there oh hey can we pull that off that's my chain yeah all right We think Pete. Good day to come out. Oh yeah. Uh, thank you, Trish, for becoming uh, part of the team. Hey, by the way, Trudy, I've not yet seen your name pop up. I, I apologize. So if, if you're here right now, I'm paying attention for like the next two minutes. Show me uh, that you're here. Uh, Brandon, thank you very much. Uh, says thanks for all you guys do, and for so many, absolutely. Where's Trudy? How did I miss Trudy again? I don't see her anywhere. Why are you guys seeing? Do you have a different name than Trudy? No, I like think it's no, it, no. I think it's Trudy on here, but I don't see her. Uh, Trudy, where are you? Stuck in there pretty good. We're gonna have to take that hook off. I don't want to get knocked in the head though, so. All right. Let me move first. Are they just gonna pop it on the bed? Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're, I think they're just gonna lift it straight up onto the bed. Yeah. This. is If you want to see like a real show. Yeah, they're gonna lift this thing straight up and put it on the back of the wrecker. So don't forget to record it. You're... Yeah, yeah, I was trying to put my camera away. So <laughs> oh, I, could, I was trying to put my show away. So, <laughs> so excited. Yeah. I was trying to film my show. Oh, you can film your show. Here, we can give somebody else that camera. Oh, I miss you, Trudy. I'm sorry. I don't even see Trudy on here. I see Judy, but I don't see Trudy. Oh, this is how he's popping the trunk open. All right, they are they are popping the trunk open. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, so close. Uh, Thank you to uh, Audrey for becoming part of the team. You'll start getting them um, videos early. I've seen you before on here, uh, Audrey. I think you sent me a private message one day. Jared, Trudy said open the trunk. Yeah, they're going to work on opening the trunk. Yeah. 
Mr. Gloves. Yep. All right. Sam to Mr. Gloves, so he'll see if there's anything in that blue tarp now. They said, Sand the man. Oh, Trudy, I see you. Oh, hold on. I'm holding two cameras here. Here, hold this. Let me pause this. Let me get Trudy here. I just saw her. And oh, oh. I almost missed her. All right, there you go, Trudy. Caught it. <laughs> Sam's gonna see if there's anything in that blue tarp. Grab a shovel. Alright. Well, we got Byron's shovel. grabbing one real quick. It's on the left hand side there, Byron. We'll just shovel it down the hill. Yeah. Kind of Alright, while we're waiting for a shovel, I'll read some more comments here. I'm not familiar with donations on chat. We want to sponsor. It won't uh, us send over. If you would like to send $5,000, I really appreciate that. We do have a uh, PayPal, um, or get in touch with me, Jared at Trevari.com. We have other ways. We also have a mailing address um, in the description below. There's a, a mailing address as well. So thank you for uh, reaching out with that. We really appreciate it. Do owners get fined for dumping? You know, I've never known of an owner to get fined for dumping because usually it's reported as stolen. Um, so as such, there's no way to like really prove it that they're the ones that did it so why would they be like if somebody stole your car do you want the responsibility of having to pay for all of this that's why we're out here doing this everybody out here today is a volunteer so we really appreciate everybody coming out and being a part of this from the from the local pd to the tow companies luke and his company express out of platte missouri or platte city missouri so be sure to use them they're out here on their own time and dime today helping us out so thank you to everybody that comes out Probably just a blue tarp. This side is clear. Yeah, you just gotta get that blue tarp and see. You don't feel anything inside of it. I said it's some great gardening soil. So if you could save it, you know we could start saving this as gardening soil, package it up, and uh, ship it out, or souvenir mud. Souvenir mud. Like, like, would you guys purchase souvenir? Um, <laughs> sou let, we're, well, no, we'll put it in a nice fancy bottle, uh -huh. and any of the mud that we find inside of a vehicle, we will bottle up 100 of them. And so each car that we find, we will do specialty collector bottles yeah. of real it's authentic dark. river mud. Sorry, nothing. Uh, Scott Phillips says no. That is nothing. Yeah. All right, it's clear. Oh, you got to move your shovel, though. You made it all muddy. All right. So uh, Edna says no river mud for sale. What if we? Okay, listen. What if instead, Sam? Yeah. We didn't call it river mud, or like collector mud. What if instead we said that this had like healing properties to wash oh, yeah. your face in it every morning, oh, yeah. and we sell it for like one hundred and thirty-five dollars. An ounce. No, that's ridiculous. It's maybe 120, but not 135. All right. So, what do you guys think? What do you think the proper price on that should be? And they're still saying no. Hard pass. Hard pass. Nobody is taking it seriously. Like they, they don't want to purchase any of it. Yeah. 
Yep, face mask. He uses a face mask. Everybody's saying no. All right, I guess we're gonna scratch that idea, Sam. Scratch it? Yeah, everybody said no. Where's the camera? Yep. Is it possible to get my chain back? Maybe. Like that, that really wedged it in there. Because now it's stuck behind the wheel as well. Put that on there. Probably me. Yeah, I think me trying to get that in there with uh, my big gloves on. That was a. Uh, that's what. That's why I was underwater so long last night. Trying to get that on. All right, I'll read more uh, donations and as well as those you become members, I'm paying attention right now, so I'll say thank you to anybody there. Uh, thank you to ADC. Finally, something Sam can break without costing Jared any more money. Thank you for your $5 donation on that one. Hey guys, so remember like a, a couple of lives ago, I don't know if it was the last one or Maybe a couple ago, you guys were like, hey, reach out to Jerry Rig. Anyway, we did, and he's actually here now. Where's Jerry? Jerry Where's made Jerry? it. What's up, Jerry? So Jerry, he was on the live stream, yeah. and he uh, bought us the barbecue. It was so delicious. So thank you to Jerry and his family for uh, doing that for us. 3,400 people are also thanking you, Jerry. So yeah. thank, thank you for dinner. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, sir. Did police give any info on the car yet? Have we gotten any info it's on the car yet? Huh? No info yet. All right. Someone else? Did you see someone else was flying a drone again? No, I mean, right now. I freaked out. No, I missed it. Yeah, they they like trimmed the trees up there, and I thought it was my drone. <laughs> Please don't bring your drones if you, you show up. It freaks Dan out. All of a sudden, he thinks. It's his drone, his drone is going all wonky. Yeah. The other day he like ran down to chase one that wasn't his. Yeah. Uh, thank you to Steve. Uh, Steven, thank you for your $5 donation. What did Sam break this time? Sam, have you broke anything lately? He's been pretty good. Because we, what we do is when we're in the RV now and we're driving, we just put him in the bathroom and that's the only place he can sit. He's not allowed to sit anywhere else. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there any way I can take a picture Absolutely. of that really quick? Uh, the license plate. You guys want to see the license plate? Yes, sir. So you said there's a brand new Duramax just around the bend. Yeah, just right up around the bend. You wait until today as we're leaving. Well, the semi driver just told me that when he pulled up. He's oh. like, he well, if they wanted to go, there's a, a brand new Duramax sitting in the river. I parked on the boat ramp and it was icy last winter. And so there's a second. There's another boat ramp past all this. Yeah, I guess there's one right up around the bend. It's a personal boat ramp. It's not a. a uh. Boat ramp. So I guess it's own personal. It's on the Missouri <laughs> side. <It's> not, <laughs> That'd be cool. That would be cool. But we have. Other, we gotta get going. Other engagements. Yes, we have a super secret stuff coming up for the next couple of days. We can't tell you guys where we're gonna be at. It's 
gotta be it's gotta be newer than that because of the style of plate. FB06. It looks like a nine to me though. Maybe 99 or something? 99, 90. That's like a 99 style plate. Yeah, hey. It looks like this tag on the 96. That's got to be a plate from like 06, right? It looks like 06. Style of plate? Yeah, the 96 tag would have been maroon. Right. Missouri. 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 Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very All right, so we'll find out more on that in just a moment. We're gonna head back over here. Oh, oh, oh. Good, Pete. Thanks for your help today. Uh, what happens to the car? It's probably going to uh, make its way to the crusher. Hey Sam, don't stand there! Uh, thank you, uh, Mayra, is it, did I pronounce that right, for a $10 donation. donation. Thank you for a Cajon for a $10 donation. Thanks for doing this kind of things. Absolutely. Did you shoot an outro yet? I have not shot an outro. Would you like it right now? Yeah. All right. Hey, Sam, come Sam. on over here. Where's your uh, quick outro? Can we get you? Do you want to do part of our outro real quick? Yeah, hey, yeah, come on over. <laughs> Alright. Uh, can we hold that? Alright, thank you. That wraps up another episode of the Adventure of Sports where I want to be able to get that out to the action. So we're not ready. Alright, Daniel, let's start looking at this camera. You're going to come down. Look at that one. Okay, go. Okay. That wraps up another episode of the Adventure of Sports where I want to be able to get that out to your department. Big shout out to PD. Yeah. This is boys in blue. This is how things should be. Yeah, awesome guys here. Yeah, the police department here, this top notch. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't let us ride their motorcycles, but, but that's all right. They're still pretty good dudes. So here's the thing. So uh, I'll, I'll just uh, note on that one. So yeah, that's where they did, you know, fell us. Yeah. Did not let me drive his motorcycle. Kind of protective of him. 
Yes, but uh, if you are a uh, law enforcement anywhere across the U.S. and you will let me drive it, yours, let me know, and uh, I'll come give it a spin. <laughs> That's a hard sell right there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm paying attention to uh, questions again. What an incredible day. Hey, um, so I will tell you our next stop that we're actually going. We're actually going back up to Hampton, Iowa later on tonight. We're gonna be making that drive, searching tomorrow because we have received a few new tips as to Ethan and so let's go see if we can actually bring Ethan home. So fingers crossed on that one. Hey, uh, thank you to Melinda, another $99 donation on that one. She says that this is a mud stain. That is correct. I've not heard that one before. We've gotten a lot of rust stains. Uh, what other Mustang jokes do you have or four, four jokes? Go ahead and drop them right now. And if you not yet become a member of the team by becoming a part of the team there's a link in the description below to become a channel member over here on youtube what that does is for a five dollar donation our way of saying thank you for you donating to the cause of us being out here and being on the road traveling the u.s helping find lost loved ones we do give you videos early so we do appreciate that shout out to the flatbed tow truck driver yes 100 percent to luke oh here we are we're over here Uh, all right, Sam. Sam's working. It didn't work. All right. Um, what was I saying? I forget what I was saying. Oh, shout out to the tow truck drivers. Yes. So we have a tow truck driver. So RNS Towing. RNS Towing is Adam's company, right? Uh, hey, thank you for coming. You're, you're local here in Ashes. Hey, thank you, sir, sir, for coming out. Yeah, you got a hurt hand. And Adam works with you. So we met Adam yesterday, search and rescue. So thank you, Scott, for coming out. And we also thank you, Luke, with his wrecker for coming out. So amazing people coming out on their own dime time. One bar, not at. All right, no worries. So yeah, thank you. Thank you to everybody. Yeah, Sam, all... Sam has uh, T-Mobile and they got Verizon. Apparently Verizon has better coverage <laughs> yes. across the country. Yes, and, Sam, uh, yes. So well, Sam... Sam can't do lives unless I got like three or four bars. And right now, right now I only have one. So, yeah, so Sam so. Sam was going to go live right now for you guys because I was getting ready to shut this down yep. so you could hang out longer. But yes, so here's the thing. If you're on T-Mobile and you have a buddy that has Verizon, your buddy on Verizon is going to have a lot more service across the U.S. than you are. Yeah. We know this for 100% uh, yeah. fact. 100% fact. 100%. So. Yes. So do upgrade to Verizon. In fact, Verizon, if you are watching, <laughs> yeah. I would say that Verizon would be a good cell phone sponsor for yeah, us. Yeah, especially for me. Verizon, hit me up. Give yes. me a deal. Give me a package. That's yes. what's going on. So they already have the, the <laughs> Can You Hear Me Now guy that is now over at Sprint. So I don't know yeah. why he's at Sprint. It, you know, they, they should like have uh, us be spokesmen where like, you have like really good service. Yeah. And I'm always like sad and dejected because I can't do vibes with these guys yeah. and that could be like a really good selling point i think it would be so so <laughs> yeah. verizon or if you have a connection over verizon yeah make sure that they see this video and yes let's yeah. get each one of these sponsored because you know while you guys are here with your donations it really helps us out but can you imagine if we had like like a real nationwide sponsor whether it was geico or progressive or verizon or somebody big that they're just like whatever you guys need sir thank you very much this is uh brian here actually so brian by the way thank you very much told us about bill and mary black that's why we actually ended up up here appreciate we, you guys coming we are going to be back our motor on our boat it actually ended up breaking yesterday as we were finishing up so we cannot get back in the river in the missouri river so we have a few more cold cases in the next couple of days and with that we're going to be used be able to use the trolling motor because we're on in inbound bodies of water but no more river so uh, we do have that episode that will be coming out later on this holiday season of Bill and Mary. Thanks to this guy for letting us know. We did also meet with their son, Kurt, yesterday. It's one episode you're not going to want to miss. So be sure to, if you've already done so, subscribe and watch for that one. Sir, thank you for coming out. We will see you on the next run. Yep. Thanks, sir. Glad you can make it. Thank you.
All right, well, that is, that wraps up another uh, episode, live stream. Thank you everybody for being here. I'll hang out another five minutes. If you have any questions, I will dedicate the next five minutes to answering questions only. And I'll just kind of walk around as to what's going on. I'll do my best. If I miss any questions, I apologize. Are you meeting up with Jigga and Jordan, guys? Uh, we might be. Uh, we might be meeting up with uh, Jake, uh, D Almighty, in January if I can get him. If I can get him to come up to Nashville to help us pull some cars out up there. But anyway, we have uh, spoken personally about it. Yes, it's very cold over here. Straight Talk Verizon here. Next time you're in Missouri, I would like to hang out with you, Chain. It's Sally's Mustang. Happy birthday to Melissa. Love you, AWP. Thank you very much. Where is your chain? I think we got my chain. Yeah, it's a great question. I think, sure. I think that Byron... Whoever asked that. I think that Byron hauled it up here. Luke, thank you again for coming out. I know, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be back up this way, and we'd love to tap you again. Yep, not a problem. So, so do check out Luke Express. Platte City, Missouri. Incredible truck. They will come get you out of yeah, pretty much anywhere. Thanks, sir. How do you deal with finding human remains? It's very humbling um, that we are able to do this for, for uh, families. So, so far we have not experienced any uh, PTSD or anything. I'm checking to make sure I still have my chains. Yep, my chain made it back. So thank you for uh, reminding me. Look at how messy this trailer has become. And uh, the trailer has become really small on this trip as well. When we started the trip, the trailer was so big, but we've learned a few things. So when we do our next trip, we are going to pick up a new trailer uh, next month because of you and your donations has really helped us uh, to keep the show going. So that's why we have the RV. We cannot have the RV without you. We cannot have this, you know, all the gear that we've got without you. When we started this show, you know, two years ago, we could barely afford air. We didn't even have a tank, a dive tank. We had to rent the tank. So thank you for everybody that has been a part of this. When did I start diving? 2006, I officially started, but I then uh, focused on the family for over 10 years. All my dive gear was up on the shelf, and two and a half years ago, I pulled it out and started, started this mission. All right, on that note, I want to wrap this up with a, I have a very heart-touching story to share with you guys. Not today, but I, it is coming up. This is not the appropriate time for it, but a, uh, in, it's very short, I'll just tell you. A mother reached out to me. Her son was ready to actually attempted and was and would have um, died. But because of the Nicholas Allen video, um, actually ended up saving her son's life. The way that the story unfolds, you're not going to want to miss that, but it's a, it's a story I'm not going to tell on this one, so stay tuned. In the next uh, day or two, uh, we'll end up doing a sit-down, very direct, very forward, very honest and real uh, conversation we're going to have with you. So thank you guys for being here and everything that this uh, has become. Could not have done it without you guys. Sam, Sam, the Adventure Man. That's the wrap. We'll see. Wrap. We'll see you next time. Later, later. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> in the stream. Your lips are still on my phone. <laughs> like, oh.